Chuckload of Comics is brought to you by Cold War Games, creators of Squarriors, Fight Your Friends, and Lady Death Last Stand. For more information, visit coldwar.us. So our final story of the week. All of you fans of the Seth MacFarlane show, The Orville. Mm-hmm. They've run for three seasons on Fox. <laughs> Absolutely adore The Orville. Oh, well, love this show. I was looking forward to the 2019 season four. Got some bad news at San Diego <laughs> Comic-Con. There will not be a season four in 2019. <laughs> Wait for it, though. Because it's leaving Fox. What? <laughs> Orville is not going to be on Fox anymore. Disney is now moving it from the Fox network to it's going to be original Hulu series. You know what? I think that's great. I think it's awesome, too. It's Well, for many reasons, I think that's absolutely <laughs> badass. Reason number one is that we're going to get more seasons of yeah, the Orville. absolutely. It's nice to know that Disney is not uh, dumping it. it. It's that, that is the perfect show for Disney, too. It so is. So, like, I, I don't know why they would have dumped it. Um, I, I have two theories as to why they're moving it, mm-hmm. or like, one of two theories, is that... It's either not doing good on Fox, it's and so not. they're trying a new platform. I know for a fact. It's not. Oh, well, then never mind. That's it. <laughs> yeah. My other one was is Hulu is kind of struggling, I think, for subscribers and yeah. subscription. So they're thinking, well, maybe let's see how many followers the show actually has that will yeah. now sign up for Hulu so that they can watch it. And that's the beauty of moving so, it over to a subscription yeah. service. Because network television, We Shauna and I used to work at Fox. Uh-huh. Just so you know, if you didn't know this about <laughs> us, we worked at Fox for like 10 years uh, until we moved to Chicago. Fox is notorious for dumping shows that aren't performing well. Yep. When a show is on network television, you are it's its all based on ratings. They, mm-hmm. If you're not getting the ratings, they're going to dump you. I know it's the same way with every show. Even on Hulu, they're going to dump you. But on network television, you are beholden to advertiser dollars. Right. The almighty advertiser. Yep. So if it's Doesn't not getting the ratings. fan base you have. <laughs> exactly. People aren't going to watch it if people aren't buying ad time. Yep. You don't have that on, on streaming services because there are no yep. ads. Yep. It's all based on, you know, number of subscribers. Yep. So it's a it's a lot easier to keep a show going on a subscription service than it is when you're beholden to the almighty advertiser because you have to pay for that time slot right. by advertising dollars. You don't have to worry about it on the streaming service, oh, and you don't have to worry perfect. about ratings. You can, I mean, it, they can do whatever they want on Hulu. If they want to make it slightly more violent, maybe maybe <laughs> throw in some cursing. That's going to be interesting. I wonder if they do. They can make it slightly it's more Seth adult. Seth MacFarlane, they might. I don't know. But then it is kind of a wholesome show, so they might keep it. It way. is. But, I mean, they're, you're totally unshackled by, by network TV. Huh. So they can they can write more interesting stuff. Because it's interesting. The show's slightly controversial. A lot of uh-huh. people have kind of complained because it's a little bit too sort of agenda-based sci-fi yeah. they're really pushing uh, you know certain agendas you know sure. there's a lot of i mean i don't want to spoil the show for you but there's a lot of controversial topics there are that there are. they that they tackle but in a good way i mean they're way. all yeah like they're i think but that's not for everybody does. a lot of You're people right, aren't into everybody. certain agendas sure. certain certain aspects of the show right. that some people complain that it's been forced on you now Screw you. Yeah. We're going we're to do whatever we want because it's on <laughs> Hulu. You have to pay to see it, so it's perfect. I'm, I'm going to sign up for Hulu. We don't have Hulu right now, I but will. I'm going to sign up yeah. for it. The question is, is it going to be a weekly thing or are they going to be make it bingeable? That's a good question. Is it going to be serialized? Are you going to be able to... If they're Hulu, smart, they'll do it on a weekly basis. Hulu shows tend to be on a weekly basis. Yeah. Like when they did the um, uh, JFK, Stephen King yes. one, it was it once was. a week. So right. Yeah, I think it'll be a weekly basis. So bad news is no... <laughs> Orville in 2019. It's going to be pushed to late 2020. So we got about a year before we can get more episodes of the Orville. Do you think they're going to reshoot the season now yeah. that they know? They're, yeah, they I are. think they will. I think Ooh. it's going to be an original, a Hulu original series. They're going to be like, okay, now we're on Hulu. We can do whatever we want. Mm-hmm. Let's let's start from scratch. Cool. And yeah, so, and it's exciting that they now have the Disney money because it's an ah, expensive ha-ha. show. Disney money's buddy. That was, that was the problem <laughs> with. The, the Orville potentially getting canceled because yeah. it's a really pricey show. It's very well produced. Yeah. I mean, it looks great. The, the CGI is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Do you watch the Orville? Are you excited about the move to Hulu? What do you think? Uh, let us know in the comments section. So that's kind of our entire show for the week, guys. Uh, thanks for watching Chuck Load of Comics. Join us here every single Sunday for a breakdown of the nerdy news of the week, all the happenings in the last seven days in the world of fandom. We're here every single Sunday. Join us here and click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Join the Chuckload of Comics family every Sunday right here on YouTube. That's right. Shauna, that was a mouthful. That was a mouthful, but I do want to point out real quick for all you comic book fans, buy this book this week. This oh came out God. Wednesday. If you're not reading House, House of, of X. X, Power of X comes out next week. It's 12 issues total. 
It will blow your mind. Just pick it up. Get on the Jonathan <laughs> Hickman train, man. Yes. If you're new to oh. comics, this is the place to start. Fantastic place to start. Yeah. So pick it up. <laughs> Good call. Thanks yeah, a lot, Sean. Sorry, just had to point that out. <laughs> well, all right, guys. We'll see you here next week. Have a fantastic week. Signing off, Chuck and Shauna. See you here next Sunday. Bye-bye.